Welcome to the Endless Knot. Today's words are kenspeckle, bow, and bedizened. Writing of the meter of ancient Greek epic poetry, 19th century essayist Thomas de Quincey, most known for his first-hand account of addiction, Confessions of an English Opium Eater, wrote, The Homeric meter is certainly kenspeck, to use a good old English word, that is to say, recognizable. His word kenspeck, possibly from a Scandinavian source such as Old Norse kenspeki, meaning power of recognition, now a Scottish and Northern English dialect word, may not be as recognizable as Quincy imagined his topic was. It's first recorded in the writings of keen huntsman Sir Thomas Cocaine, the most bucks have some Ken Speck mark to know them by upon their heads. The suffix form Ken Speckle, also meaning recognizable, was first used in print by 18th century playwright Susanna St. Lever in her play The Wonder, A Woman Keeps a Secret. Good troth, she's nay Ken Speckle, she's all in a cloud. An earlier play by St. Lever, called The Bow's Duel, or A Soldier for the Ladies, tells the story of the aptly named Mrs. Plotwell, who disguises herself to trick the father of young Clorinda into marrying his daughter to Plotwell's lover, Colonel Manley. Bow in the title means fop, something of a stock character in such plots. A bow catcher is a curl of hair in front of the ear that a woman might adorn herself with to, I suppose, attract a bow. And a bow trap, according to Francis Gross's 1811 Dictionary of the Vulgar Tongue, is a loose stone in a pavement under which water lodges and, on being trod upon, squirts it up to the great damage of white stockings. Also, a sharper, neatly dressed, lying in wait for a raw country squire or ignorant fops. A play by St. Lever's earlier contemporary, George Farquhar, called The Bow's Stratagem, tells the story of two foppish rakes who scheme to marry rich country women. In this context, Farquhar is the first to use, in print, the adjective bedizened, meaning dressed up with vulgar finery. I took him for a captain, he's so bedizened with lace. So, to use our words for the day in a sentence, a flashily bedizened man is Ken Speckle as a foppish bow, as I'm sure you'll now easily recognize.